JNH is up 380% in 9 days, and today alone it's up over 50%. CloudMD is up 266% in 1 year, and Well Health is up a whopping 434% since the beginning of 2020. Everything's going up. Stocks only go up. This is the easiest game I've ever been a part of. You buy your planes, you buy your trains, you buy your automobiles, you buy your casinos, and you're rich. Is it time to keep buying or holding? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel, and on this channel, we talk about Canadian growth stock investing. And today, I'm making a video for those of you guys who are a little bit newer to the stock market and have jumped into Well Health Technologies, CloudMD, or JNH, or Jack Nathan Health. And the reason why I'm making this video today is a bit of a warning towards you guys who have maybe just put money in at these all-time highs for these stocks. When stocks like these run up in such short periods of time, a lot of seasoned investors will look at it and try to figure out why. Is there actually a good fundamental reason as to why or is it just pure FOMO? So let's talk about this today. First off, I do think there is an element of FOMO in all these stocks right now. We can see that with JNH especially because in eight days, it's up around 380% without doing anything big. Like there was no crazy news that JNH is getting acquired or they're buying out some big company that could really help propel their business. People probably just saw JNH as a play that's similar to CloudMD and Well Health. And you know, the story for both those stocks is that they did very well. And therefore, people are rushing in to buy JNH. So if you bought into JNH today and didn't understand the business, and you just bought in because you saw the stock go up up and up, then ultimately I believe you bought in because of FOMO. And usually FOMO can lead to bad things. Let's take the industry for example. If we go onto my computer right here, we'll just check out a few stocks and when they are super hot and when they're at today. So we can see here on Aurora Cannabis's chart, the stock was trading at a measly $3.90 in 2015. But check out this run up. If we go all the way up to here in 2018, the stock rose 3,128%. And just within a very short period of time from October 20th all the way to September or January 2018, the stock rose 375%. Very similar to the gains that we're seeing in CloudMD as well as in Well Health Technologies and even JNH. JNH is a little bit more extreme because it was over a period of nine days. But nonetheless, that's a crazy run up. And now let's check out how far it's dropped in today's current market. So it's lost a whopping 96% because that's ultimately, there was a lot of hype in the MJ space for these companies to do well when Canada legalized weed. However, it hasn't played out exactly as investors anticipated. These companies were expected to do great things, just like I think investors are expecting Well Health Technologies, CloudMD, and JNH to provide great results, as in just a huge increase in revenue. But for these cannabis companies, they didn't do that. Ultimately, there was a lot of weird stuff happening with them, um, a bit of fraud, some lawsuits going around, and Aurora Cannabis was one of the worst hit stocks. Now, if we go over to another cannabis stock, like Canopy Growth, we can see in 2015, it shot up a total of 2,924% to its all-time highs, and today it's came back down to earth and it's dropped 61%. So not as bad as Aurora Cannabis. However, they do have Constellation brands backing them. So therefore, Canopy Growth is a little bit more legit. Now let's turn our attention over to another stock, Kronos. So Kronos was trading at a measly 32 cents and it ran all the way up to about $30 per share. And that's a whopping 9,000%. Now let's see how far it's dropped since then. It's dropped a total of 74%. Then we can go to another stock called T-God over five years, it started at $4 per share, it ran up about 100%, and it's come back down to earth, and is down 97%. And the last stock we're gonna look at here is Tilray. Tilray was a bit of an interesting story because they IPO'd on the US Stock Exchange, and when that happened, they shot up like crazy. So they shot up by 400%, but the amount that they've dropped is 96%. So stocks that start out red hot, just like telehealth right now, this could possibly be the start of some huge bubble building up. No one really has a crystal ball, but I think when you see stocks run up so much in such a short period of time, you and I as investors need to ask the question of why is this happening and is this stock price warranted in the future? 
I'm not saying that it's a bad idea to invest in these stocks. However, as investors, we must manage our risk. And if you're investing in these businesses, ultimately you as an investor have to take full responsibility and understand the reason why you're investing in the stock. If you bought him because a YouTuber like me, a random guy on the internet told you to, that's a very poor reason to. If you're buying in because other YouTubers and like, you know, everyone online is saying buy the stock right now, that's also a poor reason. You have to understand why you're buying into it. And usually for me, it comes down to the numbers. How fast is the company growing? For Well Health Technologies, they're growing at 50%, which is a decently fast rate. However, if you look at the technology sector, that's growing by triple digits. I think they reported a 900% growth in their technology revenue stream um, a couple quarters ago. And that revenue stream will probably continue growing at triple digits. And that is my conviction as to why I'm putting my money and keeping it in there. But if you as an investor don't have the same conviction about these stocks and you just bought in hoping for a quick buck, Honestly, right now, you should consider whether you want to stay invested in these companies because the bubble may pop at some time. With JNH and seeing how quickly it rose up because of the fact that they're in telehealth space, I think that we've come to a close spot to where the bubble is climaxing. So we can see that the telehealth stocks were growing at a fairly healthy rate early on, just in the beginning of the pandemic. But recently, they've just been going sky high and the valuations are getting loftier and loftier. But J&H is sort of the pinnacle of this, in my opinion. The fact that the stock ran up by 380% in nine days, and also when I looked into the company, they're not exactly a pure telehealth play. They own 76 clinics, and the way they're expanding is through clinics, ultimately. They don't really have much technology, or at least not much that they've disclosed. So I think investors are kind of investing into J&H, thinking that it is a pure telemedicine play and will have similar growth to CloudMD and Well Health Technologies. But in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be as fast as those two companies. So for this reason, I think investors dump money into j &H, and it's ultimately dumb money. People don't really know what they're investing into, but just buying into it because the stock price is going up. So as an investor, if you're buying into j &H, be very careful right now if you're buying into it. People will say it could go to five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks, and maybe that's in the next couple of weeks, and it's very well it could. But at the end of the day, the business valuation will eventually catch up to it. Investors will see that doesn't make sense, and ultimately, people will sell out of the stock quickly. And when you see a stock drop 30%, this is when the fear of missing out turns in the opposite direction. Everyone just decides to sell out quickly, and you see a huge tank in the stock. So for me personally, I'm considering right now trimming my position in JNH and taking all the principal off the table. So the amount that I invested in, I'll probably take it off the table and just play with house money. Looking at the whole MJ space, these stocks drop anywhere from 50% to 95% or 97%. I don't think this is going to happen with telehealth, but it very well could. So as an investor, remember to manage your risk. Don't throw all your money into these stocks because they're all going up right now. And if that bubble crashes and you have all your money in these telehealth stocks, then you'll be left holding the bag. So manage your risk wisely. Don't put more than let's say five to 10% unless you really, really, really believe in these companies and you're okay with losing 50 to 90% of your portfolio if a drop does indeed happen. So for me personally right now, I don't hold a large stake in these companies in terms of my total portfolio value. In my Wellsimple account, it's roughly accounting for I think anywhere from 10 to 15% of the portfolio. But out of my overall portfolio, everything that's behind the scenes, it's still a very, very small percentage. One last thing that I wanna say about the telehealth space and one risk that you should consider if you're investing in this is that once COVID-19 is over and the world returns back to somewhat normal and people are willing to go out, then telemedicine will probably take a back seat. People will be more willing to go to their doctor's offices and therefore not use telemedicine as much. However, I see this as a short-term thing for maybe three to five years after COVID-19 is over, but then I see telemedicine continuing to pick up slowly. And that's just because the whole trend of going online, this trend is not going to stop. So ultimately, that's why I'm invested in telehealth right now, and I'm holding for at least five to 10 years. If you don't have that kind of timeline on you, then honestly, right now, maybe consider taking off profits and playing with house money or just 
or just sell out of everything and buy something safer if you need that money in the next couple of years, maybe to buy a house. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully it wasn't too rambly. I wanted to get this out as quick as possible because of just the whole J&H situation and the stock just running up like crazy every single day. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative and kind of gave you a level head, please smash that thumbs up button as well as let me know your comments down below whether you sold any of these stocks or continue to buy and more or just want any more clarification on what I said to you guys in this video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you guys enjoy Canadian growth investing as well as just telehealth stocks because honestly I love talking about them and I'll be doing more videos on them in the future. Keep up the grind and have a great day.